moving right, be right before on the other side of Mount Nebo in the land of the Moab now called Jordan and we're on our way up to the place in which Moses struck the rock and caused water to come This right here, my, uh, my brothers and sisters in Chicago, is a uh, is the cave with a spot on the rock in which Moses struck, and water gushed forth. Here we are standing on Mount uh, Nebo, and you can see we're looking toward the east, toward the uh, River Jordan. Where would the Jordan River uh, be at? River Jordan. The River Jordan is right there. I don't know if you brothers can see this on the video camera, but we got a rainbow right here. You, I don't know if you guys can see this, this camera, but it's an actual rainbow coming right down here, right at the tip of my finger, if you can see. It's beautiful. And uh, I know people like that, we're not used to that in Chicago. And uh, this, this is another one of the mounts that's standing right side by side, Mount Nebo. I don't know if it has a name, but uh, I guess we can find it out. And... Uh, and then we're looking toward the uh, the west here, or toward the east here. We're gonna move a little bit closer, uh, give us a little bit more shots there. Here again, it's uh, going back in. Sliding all over to take one. This is, this is the mountain you know, right there on the south of Mount Nebo right here. And this here, looking right at that body of water and that is the Dead Sea, or the Salt Sea. Coming up from that, you can see the river, and that's the Jordan, standing from Mount Nebo. Even as the people looked over from the side, they saw the valley of Jericho, the city of Jericho. So looking from here, you can see the whole landscape and the area from this mountain standing on. My brother, right there. I'll give you a quick bash. Come here, brother. <laughs> and moving on ahead. Uh, here we go. We're looking real good here. Uh, hope we might. We don't. We don't know if we're gonna go down and see the Dead Sea or the Spring Water. Big mountain range right there, east of this mountain they call Mount Nebo here. And there was another mount right there, and it's this one that we're standing on. Just a reference. stones here and this is where and if I'm not supposed to see where I go this is where I go this is you know this is the chapel here you can see that ancient pillars right up in here that's been built upon right here uh huh got that that's the city uh huh okay it's on top of the mountain there Stand on that piece, just giving you a little bit better that uh, picture, that box of piece. some sheep here. Here goes the mountain, right? If you can look back up, you get an idea how far we have traveled down here. So with a piece here. And we're traveling down this mountain ridge. Down from Mount Nebo. And as you can see we see a herd of goats here. Right here. And there I go again the mountain is back that way. And we've traveled all the way around this winding road. The valley just leading down. down, down, down. You can see again uh, one of the Bedouin tents. Right there. Again, coming 
down into the valley and go over the landscape, we can see now that we are absolutely in the wilderness here. We're in the wilderness. Look at this land. It's desolate. This is the land. Banana. This is a banana tree. Yes, banana right tree. the Jordan River. It was pointing right here of Jerusalem. Right there. There's a higher peak right there. But you said this is the peak which Jerusalem has on. There's another one there. This is the Dead Sea. These are the mountains that we had came down from. Right here. Now, the boy is right there. Now, that just was be given back to the Palestinians. Yes. It's not uh, beautiful, the city. Right under the mountain. This is where we are right here. In English and in Arabic here. Now, I just ran into a real good Muslim friend of mine. He's showing me. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. Say assalamu alaikum to the brothers in Chicago. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> and this is another brother we met here. Okay. And they show, he's showing me a cave that the, the three or four of the Hebrew brothers that were Christians at the time when they were fleeing during the Roman time here, they were buried here in these, in these places here. Show, tell me again. This is the, this is the note that here after the people found it put here. Okay, and, and this is one of the, yes. the, 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 you can see it here, and yes. they show one of the, uh, the, the bones of, yes. of the deceased here, that were buried here, yes. and this is, he says, this is one of the, uh, the resting place for these brothers here that were in here. And this is also some of the tools that they used to pray with. Uh -huh. And this is the spot where the sun came, and this is the area where they were originally buried at. Right here. Ahlika. Yes. What, what do that mean in English? What, what do that mean in English? The English. Yes. The kid. The kid. Family, yes. Okay. Okay, my friend. Okay. Okay. These are the different burial places. And this is the story written in the Syria. You can find it in the Quran. And the Quran right here. So they are. Okay. As ruins of this cave here. And we're in Amman Mascus now. In the land of Ruben. You can look around you. Again, you see my friend? Yes. <laughs> After build here. <laughs>